Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to check out the URL encode method in PHP and uh, this function is very important and uh, you know we're going to check out one application of this function. There are actually you know many things for which this uh, function can be used but anyway I've got two files opened up in my text editor. The first one is uh, called URL encode.php and the second one is URL underscore destination dot PHP. Really short and sweet script files and uh, on the you know line number six in the first uh, script file which is url in code.php i have the opening php tag on line number eight i have the closing php tag and in you know in between these two tags i have created a variable called hobbies and uh, this has the text reading space and space playing space guitar so you know it has these uh, you know words in it and uh, if you notice i have an ampersand symbol in this text value right so if you guys remember from the last tutorial, we saw that if we want to pass in multiple values in the query string, then we use the ampersand as a separator, you know, uh, between the values that are passed. So in this case, you know, even though we are interested in just, you know, outputting the contents of the variable hobbies over here, you know, we actually have the ampersand symbol here. So, you know, at the destination page, PHP is going to say, okay, this should be the first value that I have to put in, uh, you know, the get super global, and this has to be the second value. So it's going to actually dissect this string into two parts. And that's not something that we want, you know, we want this uh, entire string to be treated as one single string, you know, so the way we're going to get around this problem is by using the URL encode uh, function and what this function does is it actually replaces this ampersand symbol with something that does not have a special meaning for uh, you know php when it fetches values from the query string right and i hope i'm making sense here but anyway on line number nine i have the anchor tag and uh, you know i have first typed in the destination file uh, name and that is url underscore destination dot php i have the question mark to begin my query string and then I have typed in the text hobbies equals, and then I've just outputted this string within the URL encode function, right? So we're gonna see how this function works when we check out the output of this file in the browser. So, you know, just hang on with me, you know, even if I'm not making too much sense right now, just hang in for a while. And uh, over here in this file, I'm not doing much. I'm basically, you know, just outputting the hobby by uh, using the uh, key hobbies here within the get super global and the reason why I've used hobbies here is because hobbies is what I've typed here in the query string. So, you know, if I change this to uh, just hobby, I'll change this to hobby and, uh, you know, I'll also have to change this to hobby, right? So this is to just emphasize on the point that I made in the last tutorial that whatever key you use within the get super global, uh, you know, it has to match with the text that you have within your query string. Right, so this is really very important and uh, I'll save the file. I'll show you the output of this file and uh, localhost and uh, then what we are interested in looking for is URL encode.php. So I'll type in URL encode.php and uh, we see this link, you know, to go to the destination page. And when I click on it, I see hobbies, reading and playing guitar right so this text was displayed but i want you to pay attention to what happened in the url bar of the browser so in the last tutorial we saw that you know the values were passed and uh, there was nothing fancy in there but over here we see that we first see reading and then we see the addition symbol and then percentage 26 so this is something that the url encode function has done for us it has replaced the ampersand with something that is an html substitute for it so you know this was passed instead of the ampersand simple so that at the destination page php you know didn't get confused about you know whether it had to split these two strings uh, you know th this string into two parts or whether it had had to use it you know as one string and uh, then it uh, has you know just displayed the rest of the text which is playing guitar right so person 26 is a substitute for the ampersand symbol and you know likewise there are a lot of characters that cannot be passed in just the way you know we pass in other characters you know like alphabets and numbers and uh, for all those characters uh, you know url encode is a function that we must use and uh, when you use this function as i said 
you know it replaces those uh, sensitive you know characters about which php is sensitive with the you know substitutes and then at the destination page it again you know translates back to you know whatever text that was originally present in the query string right so that's what the url encode function does and uh, i hope uh, you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll continue our discussion on passing uh, values from uh, you know scripts to other scripts and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you in the next video till then take care